a demo that using self-defending key management service, we can not only create a native key as a customer master key, but we can delete the key, we can disable the key, we can rotate the key manually as well as automatically. So now next, let's take a look at bring your own key, how you can actually import a key uh, using self-defending key management service by generating the key inside uh, self-defending key management service and securely importing that into AWS KMS in a fully automated way. As you also understand we discussed earlier that when you bring your own key then in addition to key deletion and disable and automatic rotation and manual rotation you also get key disaster recovery in which case you can delete the key material at on demand and you can recover the key material right away by single click. In addition to that, you can also manage, you can import the keys across multiple regions, multiple accounts, and you can rotate the keys um, across multiple regions, uh, across multiple accounts from a single uh, pane of glass. So with that, let's take a quick demo group section. For us to be able to import a key or bring your own key, the step number one is we have to first create a key inside self-defending key management service of type AES to So for that, all we have to do is we have to just create a key in a regular um, SDKMS group. So I already have a group called Cloud Source Keys and I'm going to create a key here of type AES to and it's a the way this is designed is that you keep your all the source keys into a separate group so you can use the same key and copy it to multiple accounts, multiple regions, uh, even different clouds such as that support AES to keys, just GCP, Salesforce, Snowflake and any such uh, SaaS or cloud service where you would like to use a key. You could also use the same key for Oracle TDE, for MySQL TDE uh, on-premise. So you can have just one key that you want to use across multiple clouds if you want to do so. So I'll call it uh, BYOK K1 and let's say generate type AES to 56. I'll also mark it exportable because this key has to be exportable because we can export it out and import that into AWS KMS securely. So generate so now it's generated. So now at this point of time, we have generated a AES-256 key in a FIPS Level 3 compliant solution, right? Step number two is pretty simple that you click on this uh, copy key. And copy key is a very generic functionality which lets you copy a key from one group to another. The only special thing that's happening here is that when I'm gonna copy a key from a regular SDKMS group to a group of type Azure, uh, sorry, AWS US West 2, I could actually copy that across multiple regions, but for the sake of simplicity, I'll show you how I uh, copy that to a single region, how the copy key works. And when I say click copy, let me also uh, add an alias of type of the right, okay, K1 is the alias name. And as soon as I say create copy, a new key will get automatically imported after following all the wrapping and uh, securely transferring the key back to AWS KMS behind the scenes.